not my fault. Shove it up your Why don't you sink your boat? Let's see how you get up here. Okay, listen, I guarantee you none of you are born after January 1st, 1989. Have a permit to be out here. Behind me here is the most durable fan on planet Earth, the Yellow Jacket. So today, we're gonna see if that's true. Because if it's the most durable fan on planet Earth, it should be able to hold up to anything, right? I suppose so. I think it would. They say it does. So, let's find out. About six months ago, this video popped up. Watch us put our yellow jacket fan to the test. That's a 60 foot crane. Still works. Whoa, they just dropped this fan from a crane. They dropped it from three times as tall as I am. I've never heard of this company before. I need the most durable fan I can possibly find because they keep bleeding when I'm hitting them when they ask for pictures. I bought the fan. I bought the fan. It fell from as tall as my living room ceiling. 13,000. 30,000. This fan was $2,400 without shipping. I spent $2,400 of my own money on this big ass fan. So, in case anyone's wondering, if you're, a, if you're a new viewer and you're like, dude, this is another YouTuber doing like a sponsored, like undercover sponsorship because it's sponsored by big ass fans. I'm not. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I, I wasn't like, send me the fan for free and I'll tell everyone how nice your fan is. It's not like that. This is more of like a threat. But I was like, send me your fan and I bought it. Posted it and they're panicking at this moment, of course, because I've had some, there's been some products that are not good and I will. I will let everyone know, okay? So if this is really the most durable fan, we're gonna find out today. Once again, not sponsored. This is all, this is my, my choice, okay? I bought this, I paid for it. Every test that you see here is honest. Toyota does not pay me to do Hilux tests. Can-Am did not pay me to break their Can-Am every two hours. Like two we waited years. like two months for this, a yeah. long time. some corrugated field tile here. I think they took a big piece of field tile. It has rotisserie mode. Okay, we just spent like three hours untangling all this. Any further testing will be done without the guards on it because this is like a restriction. To me, this is blocking a lot of the airflow as we go to cook on. Right off the bat, okay, this is one negative that I'm noticing. The blades are plastic, but I don't know if that's negative yet because that could, I was gonna sharpen them to like, so they were sharp as a knife, but that's gonna be hard to do now because they're plastic. Yeah, that's it's pretty very sharp. sharp. It's very sharp. So we sharpen the blades, which is what I want to do from the start. I don't know why they don't come sharpened. So that'll help it slice through the air better.
was gonna say right off the bat, that was extremely impressive, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that was. That was. That was extremely impressive. That's I head. thought the I thought the blade was gonna break. So, I for sure thought the watermelon was gonna take it out. Are those watermelons fresh? I don't think those are fresh. Dude, we need more stuff to throw into here. It's like fruit ninja. <laughs> just cried. <laughs> okay, if they were metal blades, I'm just saying this wouldn't have happened. I'm just saying, if they were metal, you know it wouldn't have held up against that. Uh, I don't know. They should have known better. Dude, I don't know why you go with plastic. I really don't. Like, I get it's lightweight. It's probably easy to make. It's probably going to send a blade right through the front. <laughs> the blade really disappointed me. It really did, because I was going to use this as a trolling motor in the water. Yes! Pulled it 50 feet and it's so messed up. Look at this. Oh, this thing oh is, she is toast. Dude, it like really messed it up. Yeah, look, it hit the tree. It slammed into it. Here it comes. Oh, she's totaled. All right, I thought, uh, what, what happened to it? Oh, no. Yeah, it's, dude, it's, it's totaled. It's like nothing left. It, it's totaled. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I wasn't even trying to go that fast. That's secret than I thought. It came apart like a movie. Dude, it flew apart. I think if we get this thing back on and hook that up, it should still work, actually. It's like the average fan base. That's your average fan base right there. <laughs> See, this is the problem with my fan base is that they're weak. My fan base is so bent out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, did we, why did we Why did we think it could handle that? <laughs> well, it was in the TikTok. Well, yeah, that's the thing. They drug it behind a truck. Yeah. So unless that was fake, it did not look like this. Nope. Yeah. Their fan base must have been different than ours. <laughs> it was doing like flips and Oh, I, I know. I saw behind me. I was worried he was going to come through the back glass. It was like, it was on my ass. I was like trying to get away from him. I'm like, I just look back and the fan's like, Bruh! and I'm like, oh my God. Okay. This is what you guys don't see in sponsored videos because they won't let you include this. See, it's not sponsored, so I include anything I want. Yeah, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get Oh, there it is right there. It's so tall, that scared me. 
It came up on me, dude. This grass. <laughs> Holy like, cow! No wonder the mower wasn't mowing this. It's like six feet tall. Hey, what are you doing? I don't even own cows. Come here. What I tell you? I will say the fan looks slightly different than when they drug it on the ground. Like, cause when they drug it on the ground, there was like just a little bit of this going on. But we have a full rapid disassembly going on of the internals here. All this can be fixed, except the plastic blade once again, causing us some problems, but we're on. It's on. Oh! Yes! Yes, keep going. Different individuals in my mind, they going, hey, hey. I've been praying on my kneecaps, got no feedback. Damn, where my mother can weed at? I gotta go, where? I've been feeling like I'm good, psych. I could use another wood. I guess I'm misunderstood. Damn, trying to read me like a map. Riddle me back, give me some riddle and sleep for the whack. Work in the night, I write better in black. I'm quick to react. Damn, stuck in the dark with my demons, hey. Can't look at mirrors for reasons I couldn't explain because you wouldn't believe it, hey. Wish I go back. I want to say a huge shout out from Cody and I, huge thanks to the guys. I don't know if this is your truck or not, but whoever loaded up our airboat for us, thank you. We appreciate it.